There's a little problem that can cause big environmental issues, and you'll find them all over downtown Nashville. There is a program, though, that aims at cutting down on the cigarette butt problem on our city streets. News Channel 5's Chris Cannon is live at Music City Center to explain. And Jessica, you'll find outdoor ashtrays like this all around the convention center. What crews take out of here are not only keeping the streets down here cleaner, they're actually being made into something useful. There's no shortage of people. You definitely won't find a shortage of music in downtown Nashville, but you will find plenty of cigarette butts here. Cigarette butts are the number one most polluted item in the world. It's the most littered item here in Nashville as well. Big crowds come with smokers, and many times their butts land on the streets and sidewalks. Cigarette butts, uh, they stick around 50, 60 years, uh, maybe even more. The Nashville Clean Water Project is working to keep the streets free of a cigarette's tail end. This program is designed simple, Simon. The group is recruiting organizations to recycle butts. All they have to do is sweep them up or empty these outdoor ashtrays. And then they'll just dump them into a, uh, a box that's lined with plastic in case the box tears. That postage paid box full of butts goes to a company called TerraCycle who transforms the waste. The uh, filters are mixed with the recyclable plastic and then it's inject injection molded into uh, into shipping pallets. This right here is why the Nashville Clean Water Project is so interested in cigarette butts. Butts here on the street will eventually make their way into the sewer. At the first rainfall, those butts are going straight into our rivers and creeks and the Cumberland River as well. Music City Center just signed on to the project and the Nashville Predators have been shipping butts since February. So far, they've collected 100,000 butts at Bridgestone Arena. And that's putting a big dent in the butt problem in downtown Nashville. Music City Center has only collected cigarette butts for the last month, and already they have recycled 10,000 of them. Now, the Nashville Clean Water Project wants to recruit as many companies and businesses as possible to join in on this program. So far, just the Nashville Predators and the Music City Center have stepped up. If you'd like to get involved, we have information on how you can do that at NewsChannel5.com. We are live downtown. Chris Cannon, News Channel 5 HD. Thanks, Chris. You might be surprised how many cigarette butts you can fit into a box. A quart storage bag can actually fit 1,000 of them.